Okay. All right. So we are going to start on our backs. I'm going to give you a couple of options. So our practice today is going to be heart opening and heart pumping and heart flowing as well as your hips. So get you ready for Valentine's Day. So if you've got your jelly roll, some options here is place it across the mat and you'd want it right below your shoulder blades where you can just kind of get a little lift and have your arms at the sides. Your feet can be in Baddha Konasana or extended out long, whatever's comfortable. If you don't like how that feels, a deeper back bend would be taking your block. Same thing, right underneath the shoulder blades, but then you have this other block or paper towel roll that you can lay your head on. And if you're thinking, I don't like either of these, that's okay too. Just lay on your back and start in Shavasana or Baddha Konasana with bottoms of the feet together, knees apart. So take a moment, figure out which is the most comfortable for you. And then just stay there. <clears throat> and then take a big inhale through the nose, fill up with breath, keep filling. And then open your mouth, say the word ha as you let it go. And you're all on mute, so be as noisy as you like. Do that again. Inhale softly, slowly through the nose, filling up with breath. Keep filling. And then open your mouth, let it go, and keep letting it go till you literally have no more breath left in the lungs. And then just continue that nice, slow breath, breathing in and out through the nose, consciously focusing on the breath. No matter what happens, where you go, or what you do, always remember, no one can take the fire out of your soul, the stars from your eyes, or the passion that's within your heart. Those things belong to you always. So just take a moment, think about those things that come to mind, that passion in your heart, and let that be what guides your practice today. Allowing your heart to kind of lead as opposed to your head thinking, oh, I have to go deeper in this pose. Listen to your heart if it's saying, no, settle back. This feels good. Stay there and just kind of simmer in it. Together, let's take another inhale, unified through the breath, big inhale. Open your mouth, let it go. So nice. From here, let's go ahead and just draw your knees into your chest, one hand on each knee. Give your knees a squeeze so your hips lift off the mat. Allow your shoulder blades to slide down your back. And then let your hips come down and bring your thighs together. And we're gonna stir your knees like you're stirring a pot. So just big circles with your knees in one direction, a couple of times. And then I'm gonna have you drop your knees over to the right. And we're gonna take your knees, I'm sorry, your arms out like a T. So your arms are spread, your knees are to the right. From here, I want you to take your left arm and bring it over to your right. So your left palm is now on top of your right, you're facing your right knees, or your knees are to the right, I should say. You're gonna take your left arm, you're gonna do like a half circle over your head. I'm sorry, first you're gonna take your left arm across your body, like this little sensual, experience your fingertips kind of gliding across your body and now you're opening your heart up toward the sky now take your left arm up over your head and make this little half circle over the top of your head it's going to just trace the floor and then your hand's going to meet back on top of your right so your left palm ends up on your right and when it gets there you're going to do that again slowly let your left fingertips just kind of glide across your body and open your heart up as you look over your left shoulder Take your time, go slow. As you inhale, reach your arm up over your head. With the fingertips, just trace the floor over your head. And we're gonna do that one more time. So just go at your own pace. As you inhale, those fingertips are gonna just braise across your body, open up to the left, look left. And then when you're ready, reach that arm up over your head, make that big half circle. 
You're gonna meet with that left palm on the right. And then just make your way back onto your spine. Your knees are gonna to come to center. And take your hands on your knees. You're gonna stir your pot now the other way. If you remember which way you went last time, go the other way. If you don't remember, no big deal. And then let your knees fall over to the left. You're gonna open your arms, extend, big stretch here. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your right palm across over to your left. You're looking over to the left. And your fingertips now go across your left arm, over your chest, open wide. And then reach that arm over your head. Trace the floor until it meets your left hand. You're gonna do that two more times. Just go at your own pace. Keep it slow, keep it sensual, make it feel good. When you're done with your third one, we're gonna meet back on our spine. Slowly make your way there. And we're just gonna set up for a dynamic bridge. So your arms are gonna be at your sides. Go ahead and walk your feet towards your body and press into your feet, lift your hips as you reach your arms over your head onto the floor. Keep pressing down in the feet, lift those hips. And then as you exhale, bring everything down. Think of your fingers kind of like paint brushes and you're just sort of painting the sky as those hands come back down. And then when you inhale, do it again, lift the hips, reach those fingertips overhead. And just go at your own pace a couple more times, make it feel good. You might be able to also walk your feet a little closer to your body. After this last one, go ahead and draw your knees back into your chest. Just gently rock from side to side. And then we're gonna rock forward and back, giving your back a little massage, coming all the way up and then round your spine and come back down. And just do that a few times. We're gonna end up meeting in tabletop. So do as many of these as you like. And then ultimately we'll meet in a tabletop position on your hands and knees. I'm gonna actually face you guys for this one. So you're gonna look down at your knees, make sure your knees are not like mine are right now or they're really wide. Bring them right underneath your hip bones. Your shoulders are right over your wrist creases which are facing the front of your mat. From there, inhale, look up. Think of a smile shape in your spine. And then as you exhale, you're gonna round. So the smile shape of your spine, your upper cervical spine right here, we're gonna focus a lot on that today with some back bends, which are very heart opening, very energizing. And then find a neutral position. Our left leg straight back and your right arm forward. And just breathe here. So you're pressing down firmly in your left hand. If you wanna add some crunches here, bringing the knee, nose and elbow together, you're welcome to, or just stay extended. I'm gonna stay extended for now. So if you're doing crunches, extend your limbs. We're gonna take your right arm to the right. So I want you to put right now a lot of energy in your left hand. Press down in that, engage your core. Keep your left foot flexed. Can you take your left leg to the side? So try to create two wings with your arm and your leg. Flex your toes, that will help a lot. See if you can lift your leg a little bit higher, just one more breath. And then let your leg come down and we're gonna come up. So you've got your left leg extended. If your leg is kind of further back, Try to align it with, this, with your body here. Take your arms to the sides, inhale, reach up. Let your left hand slide down your leg as your right arm reaches up and over the ear. And try to roll that right shoulder open. So notice if you're kind of closing down like this, try to roll open instead. And then take this right hand down, left arm up and over the ear. So you can be up on your fingertips. If you've got short arms like I do, it's hard for me to be all the way down. I feel slumped, so I like to go up on the fingertips. Now I'm gonna give you an option. If this feels good, stay here. You wanna try something different, lift your leg. 
And then if you want to add a little back bend, reach back for that foot. If you fall, so what? Give it a try if you want. And then kick the foot into your hand. Just shoot, you should feel a nice opening in the chest. So if you're holding the back foot, try not to fling it as you let go. Go with control. Extend it back up. Let it come down. And then we'll come all the way back up and bring that leg in. Come back to all fours. Just do a couple cat cows right here to neutralize that spine. And then when you're ready, we'll switch sides. So your right leg is gonna go back. Your left arm will go forward. And just stay here. Find that neutrality right here with the body. You're reaching forward and kicking back. So it's like you're being, like I always like to use the analogy of stretch arm strong for those of you that remember that toy. Like you're being pulled like stretch arm strong in two directions. So if you wanna add those crunches, bringing the knee, nose and elbow together, you're welcome to, or just stay right here with your spinal balancing. Your right toes are flexed down. We're gonna take that left arm now to the left. Spread your right fingers out, press down into the mat with your right hand and flex your right toes as you bring the right leg to the right. Extend through the foot and the fingers. Engage your core, find a smile on your face. I know this one isn't fun. One more breath and then let your leg come down, come all the way up. Again, adjust your leg if it didn't quite make it to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up and let your right hand slide down your leg as that left arm is up and over the ear. You should feel good. In fact, all your poses should feel good. Try not to struggle in your yoga practice. Instead, just listen and back off if you need to. And then take it up and over to the other side, left hand down, right arm over the ear. Stay here for a few breaths, if, even if you're gonna go into our other options. And then if you wanna take that leg and reach it up parallel to the floor, and then bend the leg, maybe reach back and clasp. I grab it from the inside of the foot. You can grab the outer edge if that works better for you. And then you kick the foot into your hand. Think of it like a dancer pose. One more breath if you've got the foot and then we're gonna extend that leg back out with control. You're gonna let it come down and we're gonna come all the way up and then come back into that tabletop position on the hands and knees. All right, from here, we're gonna walk our feet back to plank pose. So your plank pose, we should all have the same upper body, shoulders over that wrist crease, please look at your wrists, make sure they're facing forward and your hands are not turned out. Be nice to your wrists. Where you can modify is dropping one or both knees. If you always drop both knees, maybe today you try dropping just one. So those are some alternates you can take. If your knees are lifted, can you send your heels to the back of your mat? Lift the core like you're zipping up your abdominal wall. Notice if your head is dropping, try to look forward. Your crown is an extension of the spine. So look forward. One more breath here and then we're gonna slowly lower chaturanga. So feel free to drop those knees as you lower all the way down. When you get there, untuck your toes, hug your elbows in. You're gonna lift up for just a low cobra, a little baby cobra, and then please float your hands off the floor. So it's just your upper spine doing the work here. Shoulders slide down the back, tops of the toes press into the floor. One more breath. Release the hands, release your face down. On your next inhale, lift up again, keeping the hands on the floor this time. Lift the heart, exhale lower. One more time. Your exhale lower. Let's tuck the toes under. Hug your elbows in, lift your knees off the mat so your quadriceps are fired up. And then can you just straighten those arms, find your plank, and then hips go up and back downward facing dog. So I'm gonna give you a few breaths here in your down dog to do what you like. You can walk your dog, take your heels to the same side, but make sure you're putting your energy in your thumb and your forefinger. Make sure your head is relaxed down. You're not holding any tension in the neck. Two more breaths here. 
Feel free to let out some exhales. On your next inhale, come forward to plank pose. Let's just lower right through this little vinyasa, lower slow with control. Inhale to cobra, if you're ready for up dog where nothing touches the floor but the tops of the feet and the hands, you can go there. And then roll over those toes downward facing dog. You are welcome to throw in chaturanga push-ups if you want them. One more breath here. At the end of your exhale, look forward, just travel to the top of your mat, take as many steps as you need to get there. And then from there, inhale, look forward, exhale, fold. Do that again, inhale, look forward, get long in the spine, and exhale, fold. Take your arms out like airplane wings, inhale with a long spine, rise up, reach up, look up. And as you exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Release your hands down, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, long spine, Uttanasana, forward fold over your thighs, your sitting bones lengthen up. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, let's step back to plank, pause right here. Take an inhale, as you exhale, lower, slow chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra or upward facing dog. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Spread your fingers, send your sit bones up to the sky while you send your heels down toward the floor. They do not need to touch the floor, but the energy is going down. One more breath. At the bottom of your exhale, look forward, walk or float your feet to the top. When you get there, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward, let your heart lead. Go slow as you fully exhale all that breath out, nothing left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank and lower slow chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra or up dog, downward facing dog and pause. All right, we're gonna take our feet wide. So go to the edges of your yoga mat and you're gonna walk your hands back a little bit. Lauren, this one's for you. I'm hoping it'll feel good on your back. So you're gonna root your left hand down, press into your left hand. This right arm is gonna come across your body. Grab what you can, whether you grab your, your quad, your calf or your ankle. Root into your left hand and then pull yourself through, but keep drawing your left hip back. And just take a few deep breaths here. One more breath. And then we'll switch it up. And then come on back to center. Come back to a regular downward facing dog. We're gonna take your right leg up, bend your knee, open the hip. So I like to think of this as like a wine corkscrew. So take an inhale as your knee lifts to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring your right knee across to your left triceps, come across. Yes, good. Inhale, take that leg back up, open your hip. Exhale, cross it over and hold or extend your leg through, spin your left foot flat and reach your left arm up to the sky. So if this is not for you, you can stay right here and really focus on your core or you can extend the leg or you can also drop your knee and take it here. So lots of options for you. Think about this left hip lifting up. One more breath. Your left hand's gonna come down, your right knee's gonna come to your nose. So drive that knee forward. Plant your foot at the top of your mat. So you're in a runner's lunge, slide that left foot way, way back. And when you're ready, come all the way up to crescent pose. So in your crescent, your knee might be bent, your knee might be all the way down, but your shoulders, make sure they're not doing this hunching up, allow them to slide away from your ears. 
So let's go ahead and tap that knee down or just hover it over the floor and then straighten the leg. Exhale, tap, inhale, straighten. Just two more like that. From here, take a big inhale, reach up through the fingers. This time, sweep your arms back behind you. Do that again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, reach back. This time we're gonna stay here. I want you to sweep your arms around and come forward just with the arms. So like Superman arms. Imagine somebody's got their fingers wrapped around your wrist and you're being gently guided up to warrior three. So you might use your hands on your blocks or your paper towel rolls. We're gonna come to standing on your right leg. I want you to give your left knee a lift. Reach up. Ground down, take an inhale here. We're gonna come back the way we came in. Go slow, reach forward. Left leg is flexed, reach back. Get a little hang time here and then step back, crescent pose. Sweep your arms around and then inhale, rise up. Take a breath here. We're gonna do that a few more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep back. Nice and slow, inhale, big circle. Reach your arms forward. Ground down, lift up, warrior three. Come to standing on your right leg. Your left knee is gonna lift. Try to focus your eyes on something that isn't moving. Take an inhale. As you exhale, warrior three, go slow. Sweep those arms back, land in crescent pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sweep back. We're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, reach forward. Lift up, warrior three. Come on up to standing on your right leg. Lift your left knee. Slowly go back. Reach the leg back. Step back, sweep your arms back. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Sweep your arms back. Sweep them forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift up, warrior three. Woo. Come on up to standing. This time we're going to stay here. Lift that knee. We're gonna place your left ankle on your right thigh. So we're in a figure four. Flex your left toes. We're gonna sit down so you can have your hands. My blocks are no longer in front of me, but you can place your hands right on your blocks here. Maybe arms are out like wings. This foot is flexed. So flex that foot for me. Focus your eyes on something that isn't moving. We're just gonna stay here. Focus on your hip. Couple more breaths. Again, if you're modifying, just have your hands on your blocks. We're gonna end up moving them there in a moment anyway, so you'll just be ahead of us. So where we're gonna go next is half moon pose. So take your right hand to your block, place the block to the diagonal of your right pinky toe. Left hand on your hip, open. Half moon pose, flex your left toes, reach your arms up. Maybe look up. Maybe reach back for that foot like we did in the warm up, where you kick the foot into your hand. This is called Chupasana. Ardha Chandrasana Chupasana. You don't wanna do that, don't do it. Two more breaths wherever you are. If you have your foot, go ahead and release it. Take an inhale here as you exhale, big step back, warrior two. You need to give your leg a break, straighten it, and then come back to warrior two. So warrior two, your right two toes face the front of your mat. Your right heel is in line with your back foot and your back foot is turned in a little bit. Now notice, you make your right leg do all the work? Try not, try to find balance here. Energize the outer edge of your left foot. Reach through both arms. You can even, even hug your biceps and triceps toward the bones and just take some deep breaths. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. The legs don't change. Side angle pose. I always recommend starting forearm to thigh. You wanna go deeper and that's right for you, go for it. If you've got your forearm on the thigh, use your forearm to kind of nudge your knee open, but your foot is still grounded on the mat. Maybe a half wrap behind your back. Maybe your arm is over your ear. But think about your heart opening upward toward the sky. Two more breaths right here. 
Come on back to reverse warrior. Open those arms. Inhale, reach up and back. Keep reaching back, straighten your right leg, reverse triangle. Put a lot of energy in your right big toe as you press down to ground. Inhale, come on up. We're gonna move our way into triangle. So if you wanna shorten your stance, go ahead and then reach forward. Right hand down wherever it lands, left arm up. Please do a little alignment check here. Look down, your head should be in line with your foot. It should not be in front like I'm showing right now. Try to lean back. Imagine you have a wall behind you and your shoulders and hips are touching it. So this extended arm, your left arm, take an inhale, reach it up to the sky. As you exhale, reach it to the back of your mat. We're gonna make a big circle. Turn your palm so it's now facing your body and fold over your body. And then inhale, to flip the palm back away from you. Open it up, big inhale, reach back. As you begin to exhale, turn the palm. Fold one more time. We'll meet with that arm up to the sky. Come on back to warrior two, sink into that knee. We're gonna windmill your hands down. You're in a lunge, but not for long. We're gonna come all the way back up, crescent pose. This time, hands to your heart. We're gonna take a prayer twist. So modification, drop your knee, left elbow to the outside of the knee. If you don't wanna modify, your knee is gonna be lifted as you take your twist. But while you're here, think about the crown of your head reaching forward. Suck your belly button in toward the spine as you press the right palm down in the left and then send your left heel back. Just stay here and breathe. Try not to run away from the sensation, but breathe into it. That blood flow through the body, just breathe into it. You're gonna get a nice release after this, I promise. You're gonna release your hands down by your right foot. Your right leg's gonna go up, down dog split. Shake it out, bend your knee, stack your hip or flip your dog. So that right foot comes down, your hips lift up. If this is not for you, you're just bending your knee and stacking your hip to release. We're gonna meet in down dog. If you're flipped, come on over. If you guys want a vinyasa, take it here or just skip it and go right to downward dog or maybe a child's pose. Come back to your intention. Two more deep breaths here. Big inhale through your nose and a big open mouth sigh, let it go. Maya, I'm looking at your room. You guys look like you have a yoga studio. I like it. <laughs> inhale and take your left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, open the hip, press into both palms equally here. Take another inhale. Can you lift your left knee a little higher? As you exhale, bring your left knee to your right tricep. Come across. Inhale, send that leg back up, bend your knee, open the hip. As you exhale, cross it over, bring that knee to your tricep. Now you can stay here, modification, drop your shin for a modified Vashisasana or send that left leg through for falling star. So maybe you try all three and decide which one you wanna do. But this right hip, can you send it up by pressing into your left palm, reaching up through that right arm? Maybe arm over the ear for a little added space. Right hand is gonna come down. Your left knee is gonna to come to your nose. Drive the knee forward. Plant that foot at the top of your mat. So you're in your runner's lunge. And when you're ready, come on up. Remember, you can modify here. Take a few breaths here and allow your hip flexors to open up. If you wanna take the little drops with me, your right knee is gonna tap down or just hover and then straighten the leg. We'll do that three more times. Arms are reaching up, shoulders are relaxed. Take a big inhale, reach your arms up, and then as you exhale, can you sweep your arms back behind you? Do that again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, reach back, stay here this time. Long line of energy. Inhale, reach your arms, sweep them forward. 
and like you're being gently guided up to warrior three. Someone's got your wrists or helping you balance, flex your right toes, press down in the left foot to rise up, give your right knee a lift, balance here. And then we're gonna come back the way we came in. Slowly warrior three, go slow, don't rush, don't rush. We're gonna step back into crescent, sweep those arms back behind you and then inhale, rise up. Exhale, sweep back. Sweep those arms forward. Spread the toes of your left foot. Inhale, rise up. Unclench your jaw. Inhale, rise up with that right knee lifting. Exhale, bend your left knee a little as you come back, warrior three. Step back. Sweep those arms back behind you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sweep back. Reach forward, inhale, rise up, warrior three. Inhale, come on up, lift that knee. Warrior three. It's much harder to go slow, huh? Step back, sweep those arms back. Inhale, rise up. Woo, one more time. Sweep those arms back behind you. My left leg is on fire. Inhale, reach forward. Come on up, warrior three. Inhale, come on up. Lift that knee, ground down in your left foot. Place your right ankle on your left thigh. Slowly, woo, find a seat. Maybe hands at your heart. Maybe you grab those blocks for support. I always use the analogy of blocks are like your friends. So lean on them when you need support. If your left hip is burning like mine is, just breathe into your body, take a break if you need it and straighten your legs out. Keep your right foot flexed, your right knee is going down toward the floor. This is opening that right hip. One more breath and then half moon pose. So your block, place it to the diagonal of your left pinky toe. Press into your left palm. Your right leg's gonna go back. Maybe your right hand's on your hip to kind of guide it open and then reach that arm up to the sky. Flex your right toes a lot. Gaze up if that works for you. Otherwise, just gaze at a neutral place, looking straight ahead of you. If you wanna take the half moon chipasana variation, you can grab your back foot and kick the foot into your hand. If you have the back foot, carefully release it. We're all gonna take a big step back, warrior two. Bend that front knee, step that right foot way, way back. Send your arms, check your foot alignment, left heel in line with the right, sink into the knee. Are your left toes facing straight forward or are they turned in? Try to have them straight forward. Energize the outer edge of your right foot and reach soft gaze over your left hand. We'll do a little check from the neck up. Unclench your jaw, uncurl your brow. You might even wanna take your jaw from side to side. The toes of your left foot, can you lift them off the mat and then fan them back down. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Side angle pose, forearm to thighs, always a nice starting point. You can also use your blocks here. Stack your block and place your hand on the block. Or if you're ready for hand on the floor, you can go there. As long, be honest with yourself, as long as you're able to open your body. If your hand is on the floor and you're doing this, this is not doing you any good. I'd rather see you up on your block and opening your heart up. So if you had a flashlight in the center of your chest, like ET, right? His light would shine up, not down or to the side. It would go up. So think about that and spinning your heart up. If you're wrapped, reach your arm up. We're gonna come all the way up to warrior two. Stay here, straighten that left leg, reverse your triangle, reach up and back. Grounding into that left big toe. This should feel good. And then come on up, reach forward. Left hand down, right arm up. Triangle pose, make this feel good. So we're gonna all reach that right arm up, take an inhale and reach to the back of your mat. 
As you exhale, turn the palm toward you. You do that big circle with the arm, fold over your left leg, flip the palm away from you as you inhale, reach up. Reach back, flip the palm, exhale, fold. Do that one more time. We'll meet with that arm back up to the sky. Come back to warrior two, sink into that knee. Windmill your hands down into a runner's lunge. Just as a pass through to come up to crescent pose, crescent A or B, you choose. Honor your body, let your heart lead you, not your head. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift your sternum, this right elbow comes across. Press the left palm into the right. Reach back through the right heel and forward through the crown of your head. Draw your navel toward the spine. Keep spinning your heart to the left. Focus on your breath here. Think of two things in your life right now that you love and bring you joy. And then release your hands down. Did anybody think of something furry with four legs and a tail? <laughs> Inhale, send your left leg up. Bend your knee, open the hip. If you want to flip your dog, bring that left foot down. Send your hips up as you reach the arm over your head. We're going to meet in down dog or child's pose. You can go straight there. Just flip over and find your child's pose or your down dog. I'll copy the common expression. You do you. Do what works for you today. And then take a couple of deep breaths wherever you are. Big inhale through the nose. With your inhale pose and you want to stay longer, please do. Otherwise, come back. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale, let it go. We're going to walk or float your feet to the top of your mat. When you get there, inhale, look forward. And exhale, fold over your thighs. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, draw your hands together at your heart. So we're going to come into dancer pose. So if you know you like to do this near the wall, because it can catch you, go ahead and move near the wall. If you are on a hard floor, it, it's easier to balance off of your yoga mat. So just a little tip if you want to move onto the floor. We're going to take your right hand to the side like so, and you're going to bring your right hand on the inside of your foot. Now, if you want to take it to the outside, you can do it here. I find by grabbing from the inside, you're less likely to open your knee. Start with that arm up to the sky. So you're reaching the left hand up and you're gonna reach forward and kick back with equal energy. And I want you to think of this as a standing back bend. It is not a half moon where you're bringing your hand down to the floor. It's this nice upward, think of like a cobra or that cow pose in the upper spine. That's what you're going for here. You're flexing that right foot that will help with the balance. Keep your eyes looking at something that is not moving. And then come on up. You're gonna now take that right leg up and over like an eagle wrap. You're gonna lift it, well, it is an eagle wrap. Lift it up and over, and then your left arm is gonna be on top. So you're either eagle wrapping your arms like that. If that doesn't work for you, just bring one hand on each shoulder, okay? So right leg is on top, left arm is on top, and then have a seat. Now, some of you, your foot's gonna go behind your ankle. I am not one of those people. I cannot do that. So if you can do that, go there. And then think about reaching the beak, which is your palms forward. That's gonna open the shoulders. Now this pose, we don't do it for pregnant. Why? Because it cuts blood flow off, because it, which takes oxygen away from the baby. So the reason I'm doing this today is because you're gonna get this big burst of blood rushing through the body. So from here, we're gonna open into half moon pose. So unwrap that right leg, your left arm's gonna come down, 
Yes, we've been here before, just open up. So this option I was gonna suggest if you want, take your left hand to your heart and see if you can balance, even just for a nanosecond. Try it, bring the hand to the heart, flex that right foot a lot. Release your left hand down if you have it at your heart and just fold over your thighs, let that go. Shake your legs out. Take a couple of big audible sighs out the mouth. Maybe walk your hands over to the left and over to the right. Come on back to center, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. And with a long spine, inhale, rise to standing. Reach your arms up to the sky. Bring your hands to your heart. And just close your eyes, take a moment here. And then we're gonna switch that up. So now your right foot is gonna stay glued to the mat, spread your toes. Left leg is gonna come up and over, right arm on top. From here, you're gonna sit down. Now you can bring your toes to the floor like a kickstand as well. And then think about reaching your palms away from you, opening the space between your shoulder blades. Fix your eyes, take some breaths here. One more breath. And then unleash your arms, right hand to the block, the left leg's gonna go back, half moon pose. You wanna play with the balance. Bring your right hand to your heart. You can bend your right knee a little bit too as you get there, but flex your left toes like crazy. Reach that left palm up to the sky. One more breath. Right hand comes down and just fold over your thighs. Let that go, shake those legs out. Feet should be about hip width distance apart. Let's take Padu Gustasana, peace fingers, grab your big toes. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, elbows flare to the sides. Six bones go up to the sky. Shoulder blades move away from your ears. Carefully release your toes. Toe heel your feet a little bit further apart and then turn your toes out, heels in and just come all the way up to standing. Inhale, the arms are gonna reach up. We're gonna sit down in Malasana. So your arms are up, bend your knees, come on down. And then inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, come on down slowly. One more time, inhale, reach up, and then we're gonna just stay in Malasana. Hands can be at your heart. You can adjust your feet. So if this feels good for you, stay right here. If you need support, grab your block or paper towels and sit on them. You can stay here or come with me. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Spin your heart up. There's a wrap here. If you want to take it, you can go all the way behind that knee and your left fingertips will hopefully find your right fingertips. If you're wrapped, open those arms back up, big inhale, and then come on back to center, come to neutral, and then we'll switch it up. Left hand down, right arm up. Wrap it if you want, that arm's gonna reach behind. Try to find the fingers. If you're wrapped, unwrap, we're gonna come back to center. Release your hands to the floor, straighten your legs, turn your toes forward, walk them back into hip width distance and fold. Inhale, look forward, exhale and fold. We're gonna take a big step back with your left foot so you're in a runner's lunge. 
From here, you're gonna toe heel your right foot to the right a couple of times and bring both hands on the inside of your foot. And then from here, we're gonna come into lizard pose. So this might be enough for you right here. You might wanna drop your knee right here. You might wanna grab your blocks and come onto your forearms or go all the way down to the floor. So kind of explore. It's very common that one arm gets on the mat and one is on the floor. Oh, I love this song. What? Yes, <laughs> you're such a liar. <laughs> Seasons of Love is playing for us right now. If, for all of you rent lovers, I love this song. Okay, so from here, don't change your arms. Just turn your foot out to like two o'clock. So your toes go a little bit to the right. Bring your right hand on the inside of your knee. It doesn't matter if you're on your forearm or your left arm is straight. Press your right knee away from you. So it's rolling to the outer edge of your right foot. You should feel a nice release in that right hip. If you want more, reach your right arm back. Can you bend your left foot and catch it? If you can, two choices. You can draw the heel towards your tush and get a really, for me, it's a really intense hip flexor opening. If you want to back bend, kick the left foot into your hand and gaze up and you'll get a nice back bend. If neither of those work for you, just stay here. You're getting it. One more breath. Have the back foot, release it. We're gonna walk the arms back up. We're gonna take that same thing we did before. I want you to lift the left knee. Your right leg's gonna go up. Bend your knee, shake it out. Or maybe now you wanna flip your dog. So that right foot comes down and you lift those hips up. We're gonna meet in down dog. So wherever you are, come on back to a down dog. We're gonna take a big step forward with your left foot. You're in a lunge now on the left side. Toe heel your left foot to the left, both hands on the inside of that left foot. Option here to drop that knee and find your lizard pose. It might be a completely different experience on the side. So go with it. Maybe lower to one forearm or both. So now your left toes turn them out to about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, something like that. Left hand on the inside of the knee, gently press it open. Don't just like jam it. Go slowly, be kind, sensual to your body. Don't force anything. If you wanna reach back, you can reach back. You can just stay right here too. Let's see if you can clasp that foot. Oh yeah, we got some BGs going here. Draw that heel towards your tush. How deep is your love? Oh yeah. You can also find the back bend. Kick the foot into your hand, open your heart. This song always reminds me of the roller rink in the 80s. And I'd see these teenage couples holding hands, skating to the song. And I think, oh, I wanna be them. All right, go ahead and release your back foot if you have it. Walk those hands in, lift the right knee, tip, take that left leg up, bend your knee, open the hip, flip the dog if you want. We're gonna meet in child's pose. So go ahead and make your way there. Big toes together, knees apart. Sit back, allow your chest to melt down toward the floor. Take a few deep breaths here. And then let's walk the hands over to the left side of your mat and draw your right hip back a lot. Breathe into your right side body. And then walk your arms over to the right side. Let your left hip sink back.
And then come on back to center with your arms and just walk your hands back in towards your knees. Take your time coming out of this, bring your knees together and then just bring your hips to either side, swinging your legs around in front of you. So we're gonna come into a double pigeon pose. We've done quite a few things to open your hips. So let's bring your left shin in front and then different options. You can try to stack your ankles and knees they might literally stack. You might have a space that you can grab your blanket or your block, to kind of rest that knee on. If this is uncomfortable for you, please bring the right shin in front. From here, flex both feet, regardless what option you're taking. Inhale, reach up. Take all that length with you as you reach forward. Maybe take your block with you. And you can take your block at any height and rest your forehead right on it. And just take some breaths here, but while you're here, please keep your feet flexed. And while you are here, notice your jaw and try to unclench your jaw. I just read something about jaws and hips are somehow related with tension. So really try to unleash any tension in your jaw while you're doing these hip openers. One more breath here and then we'll switch sides. Go ahead and walk your hands back. You can take your hands behind you and just switch your legs, put the other one on top or on in front. So take your time here, feet are flexed, sit up nice and tall, inhale, reach up and then reach forward. Maybe take that block with you again. It's gonna probably feel a little different on this side. One more deep breath. And then go ahead and walk your hands back. We're gonna take your legs out in front of you. Go ahead and grab your left thigh and spiral it in. And then do the same thing with your right. You literally lift it and spiral it in. Flex your toes. Inhale, reach up. And then reach forward, reach, 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 reach. And then fold. Maybe you have a strap or towel around your feet. Maybe you have your hands on your shins or you're kind of pulling your yoga pants, whatever works for you. For those of you with a lot of space in your hamstrings, you can take your block to the edge of your feet, make your legs a little longer so you have more to reach for. Feet are flexed, backs of the thighs press down into the mat. Use your inhales to elongate your spine, bring your heart forward. And as you exhale, allow your heart to melt a little closer towards your legs. One more deep breath here. And then slowly roll yourself up. We're gonna bend your knees. So we're gonna make our way onto our backs for the remainder of class. So if there's anything you want, for Shavasana, just grab it so you don't have to come back up and grab it, that's no fun. Have a block near you, your blanket, maybe your eye pillow if you have one. So we're just gonna do one back bend. We've done quite a bit. I've been sneaking them in, you probably didn't even notice. So just walk your feet towards you, press down and your feet lift your hips. If you wanna take it easy, grab your block, just put it underneath you at any height and just stay here and breathe. I'm gonna let you guys decide what you wanna do here. If you wanna lace your fingers, if you wanna come into full wheel, or just be with me with a block underneath you. In your wheel or your, um, your back end of your choice here, you're pressing down in your feet to keep your thighs engaged unless you've got the block underneath you. So if you're in your wheel, start to make your way down. If you're in bridge or with a block underneath you like I am, press down in your feet, lift your hips, remove the block if it's there, and let's all slowly come onto the spine. 
Grab your knees, see if you keep them wider, bring them together and just rock from side to side. Make it feel really good. And then release your feet to the floor, grab that block. If you do not have a block, this is where I want you, just like this, L shape of your body. If you have a block, lift your hips, slide at the middle or low height underneath you, and then your legs go up. I like to teach a restorative shoulder stand. There's so many ways you can hurt your neck and shoulder stand. And I'm not there to really see you. So take it the safe route. Ankles, knees, and hips are in one straight line. You're looking straight up at your feet. Close the eyes if you're comfortable doing that. And just take a few deep breaths here. One more deep breath. So we're gonna all slowly bring our feet down to the floor. If you have a block underneath you, you're gonna press into both feet, lift your hips, and then our spine will come down to the mat. Find a happy baby, grab the outer edges of your feet, draw your knees down, and just gently rock from side to side. So feel good, try to press your sacrum down into the mat. And then come on back to center. Let's squeeze your right knee in, let your left leg go long. So really squeeze that knee in and then guide your knee across your body, extend your right arm so you get a nice twist here. And then come on back to center and switch that up. Draw your left knee in, right leg is long. Squeeze the knee in and then guide your knee across your body, looking over that extended left arm. Couple of deep breaths here. And then come on back to center. So take your arms wide and then lift up, wrap your forearms around your shins. Give yourself the biggest, warmest, most compassionate hug right here. Lift your nose toward the knees. Take a big inhale right here. And as you exhale, let everything go into Shavasana. So you're, if you would like to use your blanket, a nice way to do this one is just place it along your spine and then lay back on it. Make sure your head is supported by the blanket so you might have to scoot down. You can also put it right under your lower back or under your knees. It's all, they're all really nice, feel good options. Allow your feet to be wide and let the feet just flop open. If you have something to cover your eyes, go ahead and do that. And then together, big inhale through the nose, fill up. And exhale, let it go. Shavasana. Take a moment to unclench your jaw, move your teeth away from each other. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Allow your forehead to soften.
Slowly begin to bring some awareness back to the body. Wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. On your next inhale, reaching your arms over your head onto the floor for one final stretch from the fingertips all the way down your spine to your toes. Take a big inhale here like you just woke up in the morning, big stretch. And as you exhale, draw the knees into your chest. Gently rocking from side to side. Carefully let your knees just fall over to the right. And then when you feel ready, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing the hands together at the heart. And let's go ahead and take your right palm on your heart and your left palm right on top of that. And just take a moment to connect to your heartbeat. A moment of gratitude for that heart that beats every day, that heart that fills with love. And then bring your hands back into your heart center. No matter what happens, where you go or what you do, always remember, no one can take the fire out of your soul, the stars from your eyes, or the passion that's within your heart. Those belong to you always. Thank you all for taking the opportunity out of your day to log in, join in, and share in this magical practice of yoga. Let's take a big inhale together through the nose. And an open mouth sigh. May the sun always shine through your heart, into your smile, and warm your soul. Have a lovely, lovely day, a lovely Valentine's Day. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining. Please unmute yourself so I can hear you. Thank you, Allie. Happy Valentine's Thank Day. Thank you. Happy Valentine's.